Welcome into my comprehensive guide to live TV streaming. So the structure of this video is first, I'm going to go through and compare and contrast all of the differences between the five most popular live TV streaming services, those being PlayStation View, DirecTV Now, Hulu with Live TV, YouTube TV, and Sling TV. After that, I'm going to go through the channel lineup for each one of these services, as well as listing the most popular cable channels that aren't available on each of these options as well. And then I'm going to wrap things up by going through my recommendations on which services that I rank above the other ones. But I'm also going to go through and make a case as to why you might go ahead and pick one of these options over the other ones, because I don't think that any one of these different live TV streaming services is clearly better than the rest. And I think there's at least somewhat of a case to be made for each option. And so that's going to be the end of this intro, guys. I hope that you find some really important information that allows you to go ahead and pick which one of these options that you want to go with. Today's video is going to be a comparison between YouTube TV, Sling Television, DirecTV Now, PlayStation View, and Hulu TV. I listed out some of the more important information on each one of these streaming services, and I'm going to go through that in this video. So starting off here, where are these different services available? All of them are available nationwide other than YouTube TV where it depends on where you live, but they're continuing to roll out and expand the region that they cover. And I'd expect them to be nationwide at some point, but we'll see how that plays out for YouTube TV. And then going on to the cheapest plan available with each of these services, YouTube TV is at $40 a month. The cheapest option over at Sling is $25 a month, that being the Sling Orange or the Sling Blue option. Direct TV Now's cheapest option is $40 a month. PlayStation View, $45 a month. And Hulu with Live TV is at $40 a month. And then in terms of the upgrade options, YouTube TV has seven additional networks that you can add on individually at this point. And then with Sling TV, they're one of the more complicated, but also allowing you a bit more leverage in catering that channel lineup to what you prefer. But you have Sling Orange at $25 a month, Sling Blue at $25 a month. If you bundle those together, it's $40 a month. And then after that, there's a number of different channel bundles that you can add onto that that are between about five to $10 a month. And then also you have the option to add on different premium channels as well. Going on to DirecTV now, they have four different tier packages ranging between $40 all the way up to $75 a month. They also have a completely separate Spanish tier package at $45 a month. And then also in terms of their premium add-ons, they're the cheapest price out of all of these different services, including HBO, which you can get for just $5 a month. Now moving on to PlayStation View, they also have four different tier packages that range between $45 to $80 a month. They also have an additional sports package that you can get for $10 a month, a Spanish package for $5 a month, and they also have premium channels you can add on on top of that. And then Hulu with Live TV, they have just one base package just like YouTube TV, but then in addition, you can get premium add-ons available, those being HBO Cinemax and Showtime. Moving on to the local channels, and all of these are pretty much going to depend on your location. So all of these different services also have a free trial period available. So during that free trial, definitely make sure you look at exactly which of those local channels that you're going to be getting. So you have an idea of exactly the channels that you're getting access to before you have to start paying. But going through here, it's going to depend on your location with YouTube TV, but they do have access to ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. In a lot of the case, if you don't get all of your local channels, you'll still be able to get these networks in terms of on-demand content. And then going over to Sling TV, they only have Fox and NBC available, and that's with a Sling Blue subscription. Direct TV now depends on location, but again, we have access to ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. That's also the case over with PlayStation View, as well as Hulu with Live TV. Now moving on to the local channels that have video on demand content. This is available with YouTube TV, Direct TV Now, and PlayStation View, but local channel video on demand content isn't available with Sling Television or Hulu with Live TV. Now going down to the number of streams and YouTube TV, it's going to be three streams in the base package. There's no option to add on. With Sling Television, if you get the Sling Orange package, you'll get one stream. Sling Blue package will get you three streams. And if you bundle orange and blue together, you'll get four streams available. 
DirecTV now comes with two streams, but you can add an additional stream for $5 a month. PlayStation View has the best in terms of their base package. You get five streams with inside your house. Outside of your home, you can get three streams. And then Hulu with Live TV, it comes with two streams. You can expand to unlimited streams with inside your home or three away from your house for $15 per month. And now moving on to user profiles, those are available and those are really nice to have in terms of catering the experience to what you wanna have in terms of saving your favorite channels, for instance, and DVRing and things such as that. But those user profiles are available with YouTube TV as well as PlayStation View and Hulu with Live TV, but not on Sling Television or Direct TV now. And then DVR capability. Diving into this one, YouTube TV is definitely the best out of all these options. It's included and there's no storage limits and you can keep the recordings for up to nine months. Sling Television, it's $5 a month add-on and that's to get 50 hours of storage. Direct TV now, it's included 20 hours of storage and you can keep it for 30 days each recording. And for an additional $10 a month, you can get 100 hours moving on to PlayStation View. It's included with the subscription and you can get up to 500 episodes recorded and you can keep a recording for 28 days. And then going to Hulu, it's included with 50 hours of DVR. You can upgrade to 200 hours for $15 a month. And I also made a little note here with Hulu with Live TV. If you bundle the upgraded DVR and the unlimited streams option, which are both $15 a month, that will reduce the price down to $20 a month in total instead of it being $30 in total. So if you're going to get one of them, it's a good deal to get the additional one because it's only going to be $5 more per month after that. To get things started here, going through the channel lineup, it's going to open up with YouTube TV, going through every single channel that you get access to. I will skip over some of the icons you see on your screen because they're more localized channels. But then after I get through the channel lineup, I'm going to touch on the premium add-ons that you can get. And then also going to touch on of the top 50 most popular channels, the ones that aren't available with YouTube TV. So starting here in the upper left-hand corner, we have ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, AMC, BBC America, BBC World News, Cheddar, Cheddar Big News, Bravo, Big Ten Network, Cartoon Network, CNBC, NBC Sports, CBS Sports Network, CNN, Comet, CW, Decades, Disney Channel, Disney XD, Disney Junior, SEC Network, E Entertainment, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN News, Fox Business, Fox News, Fox Sports, Regional Sports Network, Freeform, FS1, FS2, FX, FXM, FXX, Golf Channel, HLN, IFC, MLB Network, MSNBC, National Geographic, National Geographic Wild, NBA TV, NBC Sports Network, Newsy, Olympic Channel, Pop, Smithsonian, Sundance TV, Sci-Fi, Taste Made, TBS, Telemundo, Tennis Channel, TNT, TCM, True TV, Universal Kids, Universo, USA, Wii TV, and the TYT Network. And now moving on, you also get uh, YouTube Red Originals. And then the additional networks that you can get on top of that are AMC Premier, Curiosity Stream, Fox Soccer Plus, Showtime, Shudder, stars and the sundance now and those are specific premiums that you can add on top of your youtube tv subscription so now moving on to the top 50 channels that are not available on youtube tv and it's actually a lot of very popular channels so be sure to listen up and i'll also list this down in the video description as well but to run through this list we have hgtv the history channel investigation discovery discovery food network tlc a and E, Hallmark Channel, TV Land, Nickelodeon, VH1, Lifetime, INSP, Travel Channel, Animal Planet, MTV, Game Show Network, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, Nick Jr., Paramount, BET, Comedy Central, Oprah Winfrey Network, Lifetime Movie Network, WGN America, Oxygen, and Science.
we're going to be going through and doing an updated list on the channel lineup currently available with Sling TV. So what I'm going to do to start this video is list off the channels that aren't available anywhere on Sling TV that are currently a part of the top 50 most popular cable channels. It's a relatively short list, so that's why I'm going to start with it. And then after that, I'm going to run you through the channel lineups for Sling Orange, Sling Blue, as well as the different add-ons you can get. To start off this video, I'm going to go through the channels that are currently in the 50 most popular cable networks that aren't available on Sling TV. So these channels are Fox News, Investigation Discovery, the Discovery Channel, TLC, Nickelodeon, although there are a lot of other Nickelodeon channels that are available through Sling TV, just not the flagship Nickelodeon channel itself, INSP, Animal Planet, the Oprah Winfrey Network, WGN America, and the Science Channel. So just 10 channels there. Not too bad, and a number of these channels are pretty low on that list. Things like WGN America, Science Channel, for instance, are a bit lower on that top 50 list. So all in all, you're going to be generally able to access pretty much a good chunk of those most popular channels. So starting off here, we're going to run through Sling Orange. And again, $25 a month, going to get you one stream that you have access to at a time. And in this, we have ESPN, AMC, CNN, Cheddar Big News, HGTV, Comedy Central, Cartoon Network, History Channel, Disney Channel, ESPN2, ESPN3, TNT, the ACC Network, the Food Network, TBS, BBC America, Freeform, IFC, Epics Drive-In, Tribeca Shortlist, A&E, Viceland, let me scroll down here, A&E, Viceland, Lifetime, Travel Channel, AXS TV, Fuse, Newsy, Cheddar, and Bloomberg Television, and you can get all of that subscription for $25 a month. Moving on over to Sling Blue, which is also $25 a month, and you get three streams that you can watch at the same time. Depending on your location, this is going to be slightly different in terms of your Fox and NBC stations, as well as your Fox Regional Sports Network or NBC Regional Sports Network as well. But then after that, we also have the NFL Network, AMC, FX, CNN, Cheddar Big News, HGTV, Comedy Central, USA, Cartoon Network, History Channel, TNT, Bravo, Food Network, Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2, NBC Sports Network, TBS, BBC America, FXX, Sci-Fi, Nick Jr., IFC, Epics Drive-In, Tribeca Shortlist, A&E, Viceland, and then True TV, Lifetime, Travel Channel, AXX TV, Fuse, BET, National Geographic, Nat Geo Wild, Newsy, Cheddar, and Bloomberg Television. So those are all your options that you can get under that Sling Blue subscription. So now going to be moving on to the add-on extra packages that you can get on top of this. So let me scroll all the way back, and there are a lot of different add-ons that you can get. Some more valuable than other, in my opinion, but starting off here, you can get that Cloud DVR for $5 a month extra. And Sling TV, even though they do a really good job in general of getting you a good assortment of quality channels for the price, one thing where they kind of lag behind some of their competition, specifically YouTube TV in general, is that cloud DVR. So a little bit more information on this. Record up to only 50 hours of movies, episodes, full series, all things like that. So it's not unlimited, which is unfortunate. And then also, this is kind of the case across the board, but the DVR functionality not available on all channels. And you're going to get that. It just kind of depends on the channel. It's going to be something that you're going to learn as you go in terms of what you can and cannot DVR through Sling TV. But then after that, we have, let me scroll it so it's, very visible here. So starting with the sports extra, we have the NFL Red Zone, NBA TV, NHL Network, Golf Channel, BN Sports, Pac-12, Stadium, Outside Television, Olympic Channel, and Motorsport TV. And all that together is an additional $10 a month if you want that add-on. Moving to comedy extra, we have MTV, Paramount Network, MTV2, CMT, Logo, Revolt, GSN, and TV Land. And that's going to be $5 a month. Moving on over to the Kids Extra, where we have Nicktoons, Teen Nick, Boomerang, Baby TV, and Duck TV. News Extra has MSNBC, CNBC, BBC World News, FSTV, The Blaze, Newsmax TV, HLN, Weather Nation, Euro News, France 24, 
News 18, NDTV 24-7, RT, and CGTN. And then we have the Lifetime, excuse me, the Lifestyle Extra, which has VH1, E! Entertainment, Oxygen, The Cooking Channel, DIY Network, FYI, Hallmark Channel, Women's Entertainment TV, Lifetime Movie, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, Hallmark Drama, Vibrant TV Network, Z Living, and Afro. And then those four prior sections that we just looked at, they're all an additional $5 a month, or you can bundle all of these extras together for $10 a month. So you can see the kids extra, comedy extra, news extra, and lifestyle extra. Instead of paying $20 for all of them, if you bundle them together, the price comes down to $10 a month. And then moving on from here, I'm not going to read off every single one of these channels, but we have the Hollywood Extra, the Heartland Extra. You can get HBO, you can get Cinemax, you can get Stars, Epics, Showtime. And then there's a bunch of other very specific different packages here that you can add on. And then there's a lot of different language or regional type channel packages as well. This is another area where Sling TV does a pretty good job of getting all of these different channels from these different locations that you can add on to your Sling TV package. And then after that, closing off the list, you can get the NBA League Pass on a monthly subscription. However, this is blacked out for your local team. So that's just something to keep in mind with this. But if you are getting that Sling Blue package, you should be getting your regional sports network, which should have your local NBA TV channel lineup for direct TV now. So starting off here, it's a pretty long list, so I'm going to run through this, but we have a wealth of entertainment, A&E Network, ABC, AMC, American Heroes, Animal Planet, Aspire, Audience, AXS TV, Baby First, BBC America, BBC World News, BET, BET Her, Bloomberg TV, Boomerang, Bravo, Big Ten Network, C-SPAN, C-SPAN 2, Cartoon Network, CBS, CBS Sports Network, CMT, CNBC, CNBC World, CNN, Comedy Central, Comedy TV, Cooking Channel, CW, Destination America, Discovery, Discovery Family, Discovery Life, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD, DIY Network, E! Entertainment, El Rey, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPNU, FM, Food Network, Fox, Fox Business Network, Fox News Channel, Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2, Freeform, Fuse, Fusion, FX, FX Movie Channel, FXX, FYI, Galavision, Golf Channel, GSN, Hallmark Channel, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, HGTV, History, HLN, IFC, Investigation Discovery, Justice Central, Lifetime TV Shows and Movies, LMN, also known as Lifetime Movies, Logo, MLB Network, MSNBC, MTV, MTV2, MTV Classic, Nat Geo Wild, National Geographic, NBA TV, NBC, NBC Sports Network, NFL Network, NHL Network, Nick Jr., Nickelodeon, Nick Tunes, Olympic Channel, One American News, Ovation, OWN, also known as Oprah Winfrey Network, Oxygen, Paramount Network, Pop, Reels, Revolt, RFD TV, Science, SEC Network, and then the host of Stars Encore channels that you can get access to. Sundance TV, Sci-Fi, TBS, TCM, Teen Nick, Telemundo, Tennis Channel, TLC, TNT, Travel Channel, True TV, TV Land, TVG, TV One, Unimas, Universo, Univision, Universal Kids, Univision, Deportes Network, Up, USA Network, Velocity, VH1, Vice Land, Women's Entertainment, and Weather Channel. So that's all of the channels on this list here, but... Uh, really quick, I want to go over the most popular channels that aren't available through the DirecTV Now, and it's only two channels, and they're pretty far down on the list, and it's INSP as well as WGN America. So this is where DirecTV Now does really good in having access to basically all of the most popular cable network and channels. So also what I want to do here is run through uh, the different options so you can see which channels you're going to be losing if you go to the cheaper options. And like I said earlier, you have to be at least at the $55 a month package to get your regional sports network. So if you want to pause the screen as I go through these different options, you can do that to see which channels you're going to be losing. So down to the $65 a month option. And then down to the $55 a month option. 
and then down to the $40 a month option. And now I also just want to touch on the additions you can get to your TV lineup. And those are going to be HBO for only $5 a month, which is extremely reasonable. Another edge that HBO um, has with being owned by AT&T, getting that with DirecTV now here for just $5 a month. The best price that you're going to find here on HBO in comparison to the other streaming services that they compete with. Also, Cinemax, just $5 a month. Showtime, $8 a month and stars is going to be eight dollars a month as well so if you want to get those premium add-ons direct tv now has really good options for doing that at a very relatively cheap price so playstation view service so now i want to run through the entire channel lineup here it's quite a number of channels but i'm just going to read through them and then i'm going to go through the differences between the tier packages so starting off here we have abc fox nbc amc AHC, Animal Planet, BBC America, BBC World News, Boomerang, Bravo, Big Ten Network, Cartoon Network, CBS Sports Network, CNBC, CNBC World, CNN, Cooking Channel, Cozy TV, Decades, Destination America, Discovery, Discovery Family, Discovery Life, Disney Channel, Disney Junior, Disney XD, DIY, E Entertainment, Epics Hits, ESPN, ESPN Deportes, ESPN2, ESPN News, ESPNU, Food Network, Fox Business, Fox Regional Sports Network, Fox News, Freeform, FS1, FS2, Fusion, FX, FXM, FXX, Jinx Esports TV, Golf Channel, Hallmark, Hallmark Drama, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, HGTV, Haya, HLN, IFC, Impact, Investigation Discovery, MGM HD, MLB Network, MSNBC, National Geographic Wild, National Geographic, NBA TV, NBC Sports Network, NFL Network, Olympic Channel, Oprah Winfrey Network, Oxygen, Pop, Science, SEC Network, Sony Movie Channel, Sundance TV, Sci-Fi, TBS, Telemundo, TLC, TNT, Travel Channel, True TV, TCM, Universal Kids, USA, Velocity, and Women's Entertainment. So those are all of the different channel options that you can get as part of the most expensive ultra package. And what I didn't mention with this ultra package is the difference between the ultra and the elite is with the ultra, you get um, HBO as well as Showtime. So that's the $20 difference there between the elite and ultra. And I'm gonna just quickly slide through these. So if you wanna pause the screen so you can see which channels you lose out depending on which tier, I recommend doing that. So now I'm gonna go over to the core package for $49.99 a month. You're gonna see a number of channels that are gonna come off the board here. And then after that, touching on the access for $44.99, not too much of a difference. I believe the primary difference between access and core is gonna be the regional sports networks going away. So. That's all the differences between the packages based on what you want. So now I'm going to go down to the add-on channels that you can get. They have a sports pack and it requires at least a core subscription for an extra $10 a month. And the primary edition here is going to be the NFL Red Zone from the NFL Network, a very popular channel amongst NFL fans primarily. And then also you can get FX Plus for $5.99. Epics Hits for $3.99. You can get the Spanish pack of channels. And then beyond that, the standalone channels, HBO, Showtime, Cinemax. You can also bundle HBO and Cinemax together. You can bundle Epics and Showtime together. And then also they have Fox Soccer Plus available as well. So that's pretty much all the different channel options that you can get through PlayStation View. But now I would just want to touch on the most popular channels that are not available. And again, these are the 50 most popular cable channels that aren't currently available on PlayStation View. So just to run through this list, we have the History Channel, A&E, TV Land, Nickelodeon, VH1, Lifetime, INSP, MTV, Nick Jr., Paramount, BET, Comedy Central, Lifetime Movie Network, and WGN America with Hulu with live TV and now jumping in to the channel lineup. So starting off here, we have ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, A&E, Big Ten Network, Boomerang, Bravo, Cartoon Network, 
CBS Sports Network, Chatter, CNN, CNN International, The CW, CNBC, Disney Channel, Disney XD, Disney Junior, E Entertainment, ESPN, ESPN2, ESPNU, ESPN News, ESPN's SEC Network, The Food Network, Fox Business Network, Fox News Channel, Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2, Freeform, FX, FXM, FXX, FYI, Golf Channel, HGTV, History, HLN, Lifetime Movie Network, MSNBC, Nat Geo Wild, National Geographic, NBC Sports Network, Olympic Channel, Oxygen Network, Pop, Smithsonian, Sci-Fi, TBS, TCM, TNT, Travel Channel, True TV, Telemundo, Universal Kids, USA, and Viceland. So that's the channel lineup here that you're getting with Hulu with live TV, but also just to scroll down to some of the premium add-ons that you can get. Uh, going over to the premium networks, you can add HBO for $14.99, Cinemax for $9.99, and Showtime for $8.99. And then going back up to the channel lineup there. And now the most popular channels that are as a part of that top 50 most viewed cable channels that aren't available on Hulu with live TV. So that's going to be Investigation Discovery, Discovery, TLC, Hallmark, AMC, TV Land, Nickelodeon, VH1, and INSP, Animal Planet, MTV, BET, GSN, Hallmark Movies and Mysteries, Nick Jr., Paramount, Women's Entertainment, Comedy Central, Oprah Winfrey Network, Lifetime Movie Network, WGN America, Science, and Sundance. So I've used every single one of these services, and the great thing is, you don't need to feel pressure to make the right decision, kind of like you need to with cable or satellite TV, because there's such a process of setting all of that up, signing long-term contracts. You want to be in a situation where you know what you're getting into with the traditional way of getting live TV, but with these different offerings, all of them have free trial periods, so you can make a decision and think that it's the best option for you. You can work your way through that trial period and decide, hey, this isn't for me. You can cancel your subscription. They won't charge you, and then you can go on and try the next one. So it's not like you're deeply committed to any of these different services. Whichever one offers the best for you for the price, you should be able to figure it out if you are willing to go through and then try out all of these services. But in this video, like I said, I want to make an argument for each of these different uh, competitors and why you might choose them over the rest. Starting off here with YouTube TV, their clear advantage over the rest of the competition is the fact that they have unlimited storage through their DVR options. and You can keep those recordings for up to nine months. Also, in general, they do a pretty good job with the local channels. The downside is they're not available nationwide, and there's not a whole lot in terms of adding on different channels. There's just that one base price of $40 a month, and you get what you get. There's no tiers above that that you can add on like a whole group of channels. So it's limited in that sense. So if you're somebody who puts a large value on being able to DVR a ton of different programming, then YouTube TV might be for you. Also, in terms of the interface that they have, it's pretty solid. And also just the simplicity of it is also something I give them credit for. It's pretty easy to understand and straightforward. Now, moving on to Sling TV. If you're somebody who's looking for your cheapest option to get your local regional sports network, then Sling TV is going to be the way to go. If you don't really care about other channels other than that regional sports network, you can get it for $25 a month in the Sling Blue package. However, the downside with Sling is if you're somebody who wants a large array of channels, you start adding on these different bundle options and all of a sudden Sling TV starts to become pretty pricey at the end of the day. So if you're really content with that $25 a month package with either Sling Orange or Sling Blue, then you're getting a pretty good value for what you're putting in. And then also, if you're just bundling Sling Blue and Orange together for $40 a month, you're getting four total streams and a pretty solid array of channels to choose from. So that's where Sling TV does well. Where they don't do as well is with the DVR. So kind of the opposite of YouTube TV. It's not available in the base package. You have to add on an extra $5 a month for the DVR. And then it is pretty limited in what you get. It's limited at 50 hours of storage for that extra $5 a month now moving on to direct tv now personally this is probably the package that i would go to in terms of what you're getting for the price and also the fact that if you're an at&t customer there's a lot of tie-ins in terms of saving with direct tv now also you can get 
a tremendous deal on HBO and other premium options that you just simply can't get at these other services. And nobody does better than DirecTV now in terms of all of the channels that you can get access to. Basically, every single popular channel you can get with DirecTV now, just depending on which tier package that you get. And there's a lot of exclusions with these other services. So if you're somebody who wants a strong assortment of popular channels, that's also where DirecTV now does very well. Now, the downside to them is the base package. You only get two streams, which is maybe a little bit worse than the competition here. YouTube TV has three. Sling has up to four if you bundle together. PlayStation Views at five. Hulu's also at two. So it's kind of on the lower end in that sense, but you can add an additional stream for an extra $5 a month. So you can get it up to three. Also, DirecTV now doesn't do as well as their competition, particularly PlayStation View, as well as YouTube TV in terms of their DVR options. So if you're somebody who puts a ton of importance on DVR, that's also something where DirecTV now is trying to play catch up with their competition. So now moving on to PlayStation View, and I think it was one or two years ago, but once these streaming services that offered live TV were becoming more popular. I really liked PlayStation Views offering because it was really cheap. I believe their base package was $30 a month, and that came with the five streams that you could have inside your home, and they offered a pretty good assortment of channels, but they've been adding channels. Also, they really went in to get those local channels, and a lot of these efforts on PlayStation's View part has bumped up that base package all the way up to $45 a month, which is now the most expensive, cheapest plan that you can get. And also, PlayStation View, in comparison to their competition, doesn't really do all that well in terms of the popular cable channels that you can get access to. There's a number of exclusions, and for how much you have to pay for some of their different tier packages, the fact that they don't offer quite as good of an assortment of channels is also a downside. But the positives to PlayStation View, if you're a PlayStation customer, you can have solid integration with your uh, PS4 console or PS3 console, for instance. And also with that base package having five streams, that's also a difference maker. So if you're willing to give up a little bit of the channel variety to get more streams within your house, then that's also something to keep in mind. And they've really improved their DVR capabilities to where it's some of the better options in that sense as well. So there is some positives out of PlayStation View, but for me personally, I don't think that at this point they're quite as good as the competition offerings for the price. And now moving on to Hulu with live TV. If you're somebody who already has a Hulu subscription, for an extra about 30 or so dollars a month, you can get access to a lot of live television channels, which is a pretty good option. So if you have a Hulu subscription and you want to get one of these other packages, uh, it's going to be more at the end of the day because you're kind of bundling that Hulu, which is, I believe it's like eight bucks a month or something just for the base Hulu option. But you're kind of bundling that in with your live TV offerings, which is allowing you to save a little bit of money in that sense. So that's one argument to make for Hulu with live TV. The downside here is, again, they don't have a great assortment of channels. Also, just one option you can't increase the tier of your package to get more channels added on you just get what you get for that 40 dollars a month and there are limitations in terms of not having a very strong assortment of the popular channels they do have a good amount but not an overwhelming amount of those top 50 most popular channels so also with hulu they do give you some extra options to add on streams as well as add on dvr but that can make things start to get a little bit pricey once you add on those options as well so hulu is also one of those that i kind of put more towards the bottom of my list maybe one step above playstation view um the thing that i like about hulu is you do get that base hulu content as part of your subscription which is pretty nice it's basically like almost like adding a netflix on top of your live tv subscription um, but other than that, it is limited in other senses, so I put it a little bit lower on my list personally. So in terms of my personal list, I'd probably go DirecTV Now first, Sling TV 2, YouTube TV 3, Hulu with Live TV 4, and PlayStation View 5, about maybe in that order. And again, like I said, you can make an argument to go with any of these services based on your own personal situation and what you put more value on. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope it was helpful. Thanks for stopping on in. Hope to see you back here for future videos and subscribe for more.